They're creepy and they're kooky, mysterious and spooky. They're all together hooky, the Adams family. Their house is a museum, when people come to see them, they really are a scream, the Adams family. Neat. Sweet. Petite. So get a witch's shawl on, a broomstick you can crawl on, we're gonna pay a call on the Adams Family. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Central Valley. It's Danny and Bella here with your announcements for today, November 8th, 2017. The lunch menu for today is breaded chicken, parm, and pasta with a garden salad, and tomorrow's lunch is the Thanksgiving feast. Freshly carved spiced rub turkey roast, green bean casserole, stuffing, creamy mashed potatoes with gravy, baked sweet potatoes, and apples. Attention seniors and juniors, the following college representatives will be visiting the guidance office this month during Academic Study Hall. Tuesday, November 7th, Marietta College, Thursday, November 9th, Duquesne University, and Tuesday, November 14th, California University of PA. Sign-up sheets are located on the bulletin board just outside the guidance office. Attention NHS members, please sign up for a tutoring day at the middle school. The schedule is emailed to you. Any questions, please see Mrs. Jones. Caitlin Lyons is looking for volunteers for her senior project to help donate non-perishable food items to help benefit those in need this holiday season. Items needed include spaghetti and spaghetti sauce, canned soup, applesauce, paper products, peanut butter and jelly, pancakes and syrup, macaroni and cheese, canned fruit, vegetables, and cereal. If you would like to earn community service hours, volunteers are needed at the Festival of Trees over the holidays this year. This event will be held in Brady's Run Park. This is a great way to work on senior projects and community volunteer hours while also giving back to the community. If you would like to volunteer, stop down at the office and pick up a volunteer sign-up form. Attention juniors and seniors, the Manaka Fire Department is looking for help selling Christmas trees this holiday season. If interested, please contact the fire department by email at manacafire.com. These hours will count towards your senior project. Semi-tickets are on sale right now during lunches in the cafeteria. Tickets will be $80 per couple and the last day to purchase tickets will be Tuesday, November 14th. No exceptions. Cash or check made out to Central Valley High School. Any questions, please see Mrs. Whipke in NA105 for details. In addition for this year's semi, song requests will be taken ahead of time using the QR code you were sent in your email. Scan the code, enter the information, and submit. All appropriate requests will be used to create a playlist for the DJ prior to the dance. That's all we have for you today, CV. Now here's Tori and Madison with yesterday's election results. Hello, CV. Madison and I are back with yesterday's election results. Beaver County had one of its lowest turnouts in many elections. The following candidates were elected. Sally Mundy defeated Dwayne Woodruff for Justice of Supreme Court. The judges for the Superior Court included Debbie Kunselman, Mary Murray, Caroline Nichols, and Maria McLaughlin. The judges of the Court of Common Pleas include Debbie DeCostro and Mitchell Shaheen. The Central Valley School Board were all re-elected. That's all we have for you today, CV. If you are eligible, be sure to go out and vote. What's up, Central Valley? It's Preston Nika here with your Wednesday Word of the Week. So tell me, Nico, what is this week's word? Well, Preston, this week's word is fastidious. Fastidious? What does that mean? Fastidious. Fussy, hard to please, or picky. Can you please use that in a sentence? Preston gets fastidious when he hasn't eaten in a long time. <laughs> That's pretty true, Nico. <sighs> That's all we have for today, CB. Tune in next Wednesday for our Word of the Week. Hello, CB. This is Mike and Mike with a special segment on cooking. That's right, CB. We will be demonstrating the proper technique on making the best buffalo chicken dip ever. Did you know March 23rd is National Chips and Dip Day? Americans eat an average of 1.2 billion pounds of this dip every year. Chips and dip is the most common Super Bowl snack. Chips and dips did not become popular until the 1950s. Buffalo flavored foods were originated in Buffalo, New York. 
We, cho we chose buffalo chicken dip because it's one of our favorite snacks and something that people like. It is also something different than the other common dips. Before we prepare any of our ingredients, a great chef always washes his paws. Now, the ingredients are 8 ounces of softened cream cheese, 1 cup of shredded chicken, 1 fourth cup of hot sauce, 2 cups of shredded cheese, and last but not least, ranch. Now we'll be putting all of the ingredients into a skillet to put it on the stove. First, the white our cream cheese. Then, we'll add our chicken. Hot sauce. Only use one and a half cups of cheese and save a half a cup for that. Now, we'll put in our ranch. Now we're gonna stir the ingredients together until they're melted, or for approximately five minutes. Now that all of our ingredients have been melted together and the oven has reached 350 degrees, we will bake it for 20 to 25 minutes. Now that we have cooked our chicken dip for 20 minutes, we're going to put the last half cup of cheese on top and place it back in the oven for 10 minutes. And since this is hotter than the Sahara during the summer, we're going to let it cool for 10 minutes. Okay, Mike, grab the chips. We have let this cool for 10 minutes, so we're going to flavor town, baby. Bam! Mmm! Mmm! This is amazing. Even Gordon Ramsay couldn't critique this. Well, you said it first, Mike. This is the best buffalo chicken dip ever.